I would like to talk about a brief history about spinal fusion and evolution of transcambine approaches. I am Dr. Farhan Jum. I am doing my neurosurgery resident in Germany and also I am working as a chief executive medical officer in Cambin Society to support our society. There is a little bit history about Dr. Parvis Cambin. He is a pioneer of minimal invasive spine surgery. He born in Tehran in 1931. He finished his graduate from Tehran University. After that, he finished his orthopedic training in the United States and he became the professor of orthopedics. And he actually uh, he bring the new touch to the Cambin triangle actually and he bring it to the minimize tissue damage and reduce the recovery times. So actually we are, um, his legacy is continues through the Cambin society and he promote the minimal invasive spinal techniques. So how Professor Abbasi also said that uh, he just passed away in March 2020, but his novelty and mission in minimal invasive spine surgery is moving forward. What are mission of our society? The Cambin Society is dedicated to advancing the global standard of spinal care by fostering open dialogue on complex cases, sharing insights from failures and success and promoting collaboration across discipline. Through continuous education and mentorship, we are committed to training the next generation of hybrid spine, orthopedic, and neurosurgeons to ensure optimal patient outcomes. Our mission statement is to build a global community where spine specialists openly exchange knowledge, innovate surgical techniques, and embrace a multidisciplinary approach to shape the future of spine care by cultivating a culture of learning, collaboration, and mentorship, preparing the next generation of hybrid surgeon to lead the excellence. Here is this diagramic view of the Cambin triangle, what we are using. So this is the exiting nerve root and this is the transversing nerve root from here. And we are using this triangle and it is the superior articular process of the lumbar spine. And this is the transverse process. So this existing nerve and the superior articular process is making this triangle. So there is a difference between Cambin's approach and subpendicular uh, sub pedicular approach, sorry. So Cambin approach is a little bit, it's not close to the nerve. It is a little bit away. And subpedicular approach, what we are actually using for transforminal epidural steroid injection, and it should be also close to the nerve. So that is the difference between the Cambin approach and the subpedicular approach. Here is another diagrammical view of the Cambin triangle, that why it is actually safe, what makes it safe. So here is the pedicle, here is the spinal cord, and we are using the existing nerve root, the down part. So this triangle is actually safe. It is neither affecting the spinal cord, neither the pedicle, or neither the nerve root. This is an excellent picture to describe that the nerve root and the ganglions are just below the pedicle and are attached to it. And they move up once when we increase the size of Cambin triangle. And it's according to the need. This is also a very nice picture to have a difference between what is the difference of tea leaf and what is the difference of olive. So in tea leaf, we put the nerve root and the thecal sac at rigs because when we, when we touch that, so we are touching the thecal sac. But in olive, we are only passes the nerve root and not the thecal sac. So it is not actually touching or damaging the thecal sac. 
So that's a historical evolution that how it comes up to this. Now we are in minimal invasive and also endoscopic approaches. So it's begin actually from 1934 when it was for Dix herniation, we were using the mixture and the bars. And then 1944 to 1980, that was P-leaf, is the posterior lumbar interbody fusion. After that, it's become a little bit modified between 180 to 82. After it comes to transforaminal approach. And after 1990, it is minimal invasive lumbar spine. And we are now ahead to the minimal invasive T leaf. So here, this picture will um, demonstrate that what are the approach and what are the timeline actually it is started that we started with a leaf and then it's p leaf then it's become transverse it's like 1982 and then we come to t leaf x leaf and uh, now we are in olive and atp is anterior to psoas muscle And this is very interesting picture because that will show that where we are in minimal invasive D leaf and it is actually the porn lateral. And we all know this is A leaf and this is P leaf and this is our T leaf approaches. So actually olive is combining the, MI, the minimal invasive and also the lateral approaches. That is also a very interesting picture to have uh, knowledge about what is the difference between olive and minimal invasive D leaf. So in D leaf, we are using the existing nerve root, and in olive, actually we are also keep it lateral and then we are using the pedicle so that makes the olive triangle and it is the superior articular process and here is actually we are using the existing nerve root and that is the d leaf approach this is also a very good glimpse about that which approach is covering most of our spine like the olive actually is taking the most of the places like the thoracic 5 to sacral 1 whereas minimal invasive T leaf is only lumbar and sacral it's L1 to S1 and these are the difference one can see so this is a very good chart actually to have a glimpse about that where and which approach is actually beneficial for us so with that thank you very much for your patience and